Hello, ma. During my fertile days, I see cervical mucus like uh, sticky, but I am not seeing the one of white. Does it mean that I am not ovulating, but I feel cramp during my ovulation? Does it mean that I am not um, releasing egg? Can you please clear this? Hi, my name is Tochi and you are watching Tochi Fertility Channel. In today's video, I am going to be making some clarification and also teach you how to identify um, fertile cervical mucus. Somebody asked me, she said that she is seeing cervical mucus during her fertile days, but she is not really seeing the real egg white cervical mucus. Now she wants to know if she is ovulating. When I have uh, made a video and demonstrated very well how you can notice or how you can know if your ovaries are producing cervical mucus or whether if your ovaries are releasing egg. Now she is trying to find out if um, she is ovulating. I, like I said before, during your fertile windows, your body will start producing this mucus. This mucus performs uh, three main functions. One, it protects your oh, it, it one, it protects your vagina from contacting. It protects your vagina from contacting infection. Two, it shows that your body is fertile. It tells you that your body is ready for conception. Three, it helps the sperm to swim faster. Cervical mucus plays a very good role when it comes to conception. If your vagina is dry, you will find it difficult to conceive. In fact, it's going to affect your fertility. I am sorry you might be hearing noise. My little one is here. It's going to affect your ability to conceive because it's going to make that place hostile for the sperm and also the movement of your sperm. Now she wants to know, since she is not seeing the real cervical mucus, the real fertile CM, that is uh, cervical mucus, what does it mean that she's not um, ovulating? And according to her, she says she feels cramp. Yes, a cramping, lower abdominal cramp is one of the signs of ovulation. In most cases, you might have this symptom and yet you might not ovulate. And it's not everybody that sees cervical mucus might really ovulate. This is the confusing part of this. If you really want to know whether you are ovulating or not, I will advise you, one, go for a test. Go for ultrasound. Use ovulation prediction kit. These are the things that will help you to know if you are really ovulating. When you see the test line and the control line really positive, then you are ovulating. But if they are faint on the day of your ovulation, for example, if you have 28 day circle and on the 14 to 15 to 16, you still see the line faint. It simply means that you are not ovulating. But on the 14th or 15th, depending, because sometimes it will tell you that uh, if you have 28 day circle, you will likely going to ovulate on the circle, the 14. It's not true. Sometimes the ovulation might happen early. Sometimes it may happen late. It may ha happen early as 12th day in your cycle. It may happen late as 15 to 16 day of your cycle. So for you to pinpoint this, you must use OPK that dictates LH surge. LH surge is the hormone that triggers ovulation. When your body is likely going to produce or release matured egg, that LH surge, that is the luteinizing hormone will dictate it. Or you can go for ultrasound, use it to track your follicle. When your follicle is reaching to the edge of maturity, your gynecologist will tell you. So what I'm saying or how I will answer this question, I cannot say that really you are ovulating, but in the sense that you are seeing other cervical mucus simply means that you are seeing that egg white, but you might not know. It might not be too uh, big, depending. And if you want to be producing this, you need to take water, eat fruit and vegetable, have enough rest, drink water. Fluids can help you to produce a large amount of fertile fluid. Eat fruit and vegetable, especially 
um, watermelon can help you, apple can help you, eat all these things. So now she wants to know if she's really ovulating. Yeah, you might be ovulating. Maybe this fertile fluid is little. And there is also another sign, another type of fertile fluid. This one is not like egg white. This one is just like watery. When you go to toilet, you may see that your pants are wet. It's also a fertile fluid. So it depends. That is why I demonstrated it that way. You need to find that. Study it very well. Cool down. Study it if you really want to get pregnant. But if you know that you are always dry, you will find it difficult to become pregnant. Even you can tell yourself the truth. When you are baby dancing, you are feeling pain. You are not enjoying it. A lot of us are afraid to baby dance because of the pains that can that we encounter during this. So that is why I keep on showing you people this thing. This thing is very, very good. This is um, Preceed uh, uh, Fertility Lubricant. I posted it in my bio and somebody is asking me what is my bio. If you go to my page, Toti Fertility page, you will see something description where I wrote what my page is all about. Under there, that is where you will see the link that will take you to Amazon where you can buy this. If you are in Nigeria, you can go to um, pharmacies, they will sell it. This thing will help you. Fertility Hospital, they put this thing together to mimic your original cervical mucus so that you can be easy for you to become pregnant. So if you are dry, especially women who have a hormonal disorder, if you are dry and you are trying to become pregnant, it will be very difficult for you. I am telling you the truth right now until you start producing cervical mucus or you can use this thing in place of it it is even written here clearly they say for use when trying to get pregnant clinically shown to be fertility friendly safe for use and doesn't harm sperm mimic your own fertile fluids you see it so they designed this together for you to use if you are dry not only people who are trying to conceive people who sees um, love making as a punishment because of the dryness or because of the pains they become after doing that? This is a fun making. There is another one. There are two of them that I, I showcase. You can buy any of them. Conceive Plus is also good. I, I think the one I put in my link is Conceive Plus. So please, and if you are using this, it's not all the every type of lubricant that you can use. You must make sure that it is fertility friendly lubricant there are other lubricants that kill sperm especially that are the ones that contain <laughs> the, the one that contain jelly is not good but this one is good so back to your question it might be that you are ovulating if you want to be sure that you are ovulating you must go for a test or use opk ovulation prediction kit to dictate whether you are ovulating and lower abdomen cramp is also signs of ovulation but you cannot really use it you cannot really use it because you might have the cramping but yet you are not ovulating the two ways that i just mentioned using ultrasound or using ovulation prediction kit people who use cervical mucus to know that they are ovulating is people who are conversant with it the reason why i'm bringing your attention to the uh, use of cervical mucus is that if you are not producing it it might be that you are not ovulating my baby is making noise thank you so much if you like what i'm doing if you like my platform if you are just coming for the first time i welcome you i always give new members a warm hug and also please subscribe to my page to help us let i'm going to tell you people what i will be doing in this page i love you all bye bye